Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 28 and in this video we're going to style up the star ratings on the homepage. Okay then gang, so in the last tutorial what we did was make this custom loop right here where we're going into the menu items category and we're getting these posts and displaying them on the front page and from each post in that category we're going to display the thumbnail the link and the title right here, the first custom field which was the price right here and then under that we've got another span with a dynamic class which is being driven by that second custom field, the rating. So each one of these is going to have a class of rating, that's going to be the same for each one and it's also going to have a dynamic class of star hyphen whatever the rating is, so that's one, two, three, four or five, okay? So what we're going to do is style up this span tag in this lesson so that these stars show underneath. We're going to use a background image to do that. And the image we're going to use is in our images folder from the PSD, this star thing right here. Okay, it's very small there. So um, I'll open this up. I'll show an explorer. And you can see here if I zoom in, it's this thing right here, this star we're going to use as the background. All right, so let's jump into our style.css and the first thing I want to do is style up the rating class because that's global to each one of these things right here okay so what I'll do is make that rule right at the bottom and then within that rule the first thing I want to do is give it a height of 12 pixels because that's how high the star picture is okay so they're all gonna have a height of 12 pixels uh, next thing I want to do is give it a background and that's going to be a URL. It's going to be in the oops URL. It's going to be in the images folder forward slash star dot png like that. It's going to automatically repeat, so we don't need to set that uh, property. And then we're going to set the float to none, and that's going to be important to override another rule which may have floated it in the past. Then what I want to do is display it as block because currently a span tag is being displayed as inline. So we'll override that. Now I'll save it and refresh over here. And you can see all of these things are showing all of these um, stars. Now currently they're behind this text. We don't want that. We want it to come down here. And that's because these things are floated right here. The text and the price. So we need to clear those floats. So we'll put clear both. And then we'll save that and refresh and now they go underneath which is a lot better so all we need to do now is control the width of these ratings so for example if it's got a one star rating then the width will just be this 12 pixels and that's just going to show one star if it's got a two star rating then the width could be 24 pixels and that's going to show two stars and hide all these here and so forth depending on what the star rating is okay so that's how we're going to control which stars are shown. Now to do that, we're going to have to use the dynamic classes. So remember, if we go back to the front page, the class is star hyphen, then whatever the rating is. So star hyphen one, star hyphen two, star hyphen three, hyphen four, or hyphen five. So let's jump back here and make those styles. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room like that. And the first one we're going to do is dot rating dot star five and you don't have to use this bit right here I am just making it a little bit more specific in case we choose to use these classes elsewhere in fact you know what we'll get rid of that because we're not going to use it elsewhere we'll just do star five and what we'll do is give this a width of 12 times 5 because they're all 12 pixels in width so that's 60 pixels like that we'll save it if we got any star fives on here yep there we go now five stars one two three four five stars are showing on that one so we'll do the same for each different rating so there's five in total four and then this is going to be 48 pixels in width then three and this is going to be 36 pixels in width then two and this is going to be 24 pixels in width and then one which is going to be just the 12 pixels in width save that and refresh and this should do the trick guys yeah voila 
Cool, so now we've got the star ratings underneath controlled dynamically, pulled out of those posts and then styled to suit like that. Okay, pretty cool. So that's it for the blog post down here. We've got everything sorted so we can move on now. To be honest, the website is looking pretty good in good nick as it is. So let's just have a look through them. We've got all these different pages and the news, which is latest blogs and stuff. Uh, if we click on one of those, it's looking all right. Maybe in the next lesson, what I'm going to do is just go through this sidebar right here and talk about widgets. So until then, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'll see you in that very next video.